नमस्कार टुडे उइल स्टाडी द डिफरेन्स विटुईन सैड इफेक्ट टक्सिक इफेक्ट आडभर्स इफेक्ट आडभर्स ड्रग रिएक्शन आडभर्स इवेंट्स अल दिस टर्म्स वी कम एक्रस वेन वेन वी टेक ए ड्रग सो फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट डिस्कस व्हाट इज ए ड्रग ड्रग इज एनी सब्सटेन्स यूज फर द पर्पज अफ डायग्नोसि प्रिभेनसन एंड क्योर अफ ए डिजिज इन एनिमल्स और ह्यूमन बींग्स सो डायग्नोसि प्रिभेनसन एंड क्योर थ्री एस्पेक्ट आर देर एज पर वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ए सब्सटेन्स और प्रोडक्ट दैट इज यूज और इंटेंडेड टू बी यूज टू मोडिफाई और एक्सप्लोर सो एक्सप्लोर वेन इट सेज एक्सप्लोर इट कम्स Uh, it covers the diagnosis part so modify the physiological condition or pathological state so both are included so physiological condition suppose a pregnant woman is taking uh, a drug so it is under physiological condition pathological state uh, when uh, somebody is suffering from disease so pathological state in both the cases if uh, a substance is able to or it is intended to be used to modify or explore the for the benefit of the recipient then we call it as a drug so accordingly the adverse drug reaction when we say adverse drug reaction so any unwanted effect unwanted effect or unintended effect which is noxious and this this term is very important here noxious noxious means harmful poisonous very unpleasant so this term noxious differentiates this adverse reaction from others so any harmful poisonous effect very unpleasant effect that means all are unintended unwanted of a drug which occurs at doses normally used for prophylaxis diagnosis or cure or treatment or therapy of a disease or for the modification of physiological functions so that means when we take a drug usually at its normal dose if there will be harmful effect poisonous effects very unpleasant effect then we call them as adverse drug reaction so now let us discuss the side effect and toxic effect so side effect and toxic effect uh, uh, let us see this figure so when we uh, uh, draw a plasma concentration versus time curve so suppose we have taken orally and single dose single dose so when we take suppose we are suffering from headache so we have taken the tablet it takes uh, say 30 minutes to show its action to start its action so that time we call uh, call it as the onset of action so at this point the action starts onset of action is there so the corresponding time is on onset time we say onset time so when you take a drug it takes some time to reach the minimum effective concentration every drug needs one minimum effective concentration that means if uh, when a drug uh, we, we are taking it shows its action by binding to specific receptors so when we have taken a drug uh, minimum quantity of drug is required to bind to sufficient number of receptors to show its action to start its action so that concentration of the drug required is called minimum effective concentration similarly a, a drug has maximum safe concentration above which it is toxic so the toxic level is above the maximum safe concentration level and below the minimum effective concentration we call it as sub therapeutic level 
so the concentration between minimum effective concentration and maximum safe concentration is called the therapeutic range so the drug should be always should be within the therapeutic range if it is below this it will not show any efficacy it, if it is above this it will show toxicity so as we discussed a drug to show its action binds to specific receptors or enzymes or ion channels or carrier proteins so certain drug targets are there to which drug binds and it's not that that target is present at one place in our body it may be present at several places so at one place if it is showing therapeutic effect in other places those effects will be unwanted effects and those unwanted effects are called as side effects so side effects are those effects those unwanted effects which occur along with the therapeutic effect when the drug is within the therapeutic range so can we avoid side effect we cannot avoid side effect side effect is unavoidable we cannot avoid side effect why because when the drug is within the therapeutic range in, uh, during that time only uh, the side effects are there so any other effect besides the therapeutic effect when the drug is within the therapeutic range is called a side effect and when the uh, drug concentration is above the maximum safe concentration then or uh, we also call it as minimum toxic concentration so above this concentration it is toxicity so whatever the effects when the drug concentration is above maximum safe concentration that is toxicity or toxic effect so here we see toxic effects and here we see side effects so this is for a single dose suppose multiple dosing is there uh, so, 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 uh, in this figure you can see here this is the minimum effective concentration 1 2 3 after third dosing means uh, uh, after fourth dosing it reaches the minimum effective concentration so that is your onset of action it takes uh, so th uh, th uh, after fourth dosing uh, the minimum effective concentration is reached and usually after five to six half lives the desired plasma concentration is achieved so this is the desired plasma concentration and uh, this is within the uh, msc and mec or within the therapeutic range so to show this therapeutic effect whatever other effects are there suppose uh, uh, we we have taken a beta blocker so beta 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 1 blocker so atenolol we have taken beta 1 receptor is uh, present in uh, heart and um, if it is uh, this beta 1 receptor is also present uh, in some other places and the uh, effects due to Uh, all those effects uh, due to uh, other places will be coming under side effects okay and when the drug concentration is above this uh, maximum safe concentration then it is called toxic effect so this is the difference so the side effect within therapeutic range unavoidable toxic effect above therapeutic range and avoidable and this th th uh, toxic effect can again be intentional and unintentional in intentional that means uh, uh, so somebody is uh, uh, t taking uh, l let us say uh, to suicide and that means he has taken 10 tablets at a once at at once so that is intentional so that is poisoning uh, or uh, overdose so that is that will lead to toxic effect on intentional somebody has a kidney failure renal failure or somebody has a, a severe hepatic disease so drug metabolism and excretion is not possible and uh, that means elimination is not possible the drug accumulates in the body and when it accumulates then uh, it leads to toxicity so because uh, the drug is not eliminated uh, because of the disease associated uh, uh, disease present in the per person that will lead to toxic effect so now whether the side effects and toxic effects are adverse drug reactions or not so when we say toxic effect definitely these are uh, noxious on intended and noxious harmful so all the toxic effects we can say they are uh, adverse drug reactions but side effects whether these side effects are uh, uh, adverse drug reactions or not 
always the side effects may not be adverse drug reactions. Okay, so let us see the difference between the uh, side effect and adverse effect. So when we uh, discuss the uh, side effect and adverse effects, uh, we have to consider this benefit risk ratio or risk benefit ratio. If the benefit is more than risk, then we call a side effect. If the risk is more than benefit, then we call them as adverse effects. So what is the difference? Let us see. Minoxidil. Minoxidil is a vasodilator and uh, uh, we can take uh, it to, um, as antihypertensive. Okay. But minoxidil has a side effect. Uh, it uh, causes hair growth. Okay. So hair growth is, is a side effect. Okay. And uh, that is beneficial if uh, the, the person uh, is bald and he needs uh, hair growth. That means that is a beneficial side effect. So side effects are not always uh, harmful. Uh, there are some beneficial or therapeutic effects associated with them also. Now let us uh, take the example of metformin. Metformin uh, um, is an anti-diabetic drug which, uh, whose side effect is weight loss. So some, uh, if, if the patient is uh, obese, then uh, it is advantageous to, for him to take metformin because weight loss will be there. But if the patient is uh, obese, then for, for him this, will, uh, this is uh, not desirable and it may lead to adverse effects. So uh, this, the side effects can sometimes become adverse effects. Uh, same example, this mirtazepine. Mirtazepine uh, is also associated with uh, weight gain. Metazepine is associated with weight gain. So, any person who, who is suffering from anorexia, uh, for him, metazepine will be uh, advantageous. Okay. Uh, there is uh, uh, another drug, uh, uh, this NSID called uh, ketoprofen. Ketoprofen, ketoprofen uh, has a side effect of breast enlargement. So, breast enlargement, if, uh, if the uh, woman wants a breast enlargement, for, uh, for her, it is advantageous and if uh, the woman does not want it, then for, uh, for her, it is, uh, you can say, adverse effect. So, side effects are not always harmful. So, if, if they will be harmful, we can call them as adverse effects. So, side effects are common, mild, self-resolving, slow onset and always expected by the doctor and they are reversible. If you stop the drug, uh, they, they will also be stopped. Okay. But adverse effects are rare, severe, needs immediate medical attention, they are rapid onset, uh, immediately they will occur and they are not expected by the doctor. And may require discontinuation or reduction in dose because of their severity. But in case of side effect, they may not require discontinuation. For example, calcium channel blockers, they are vasodilators like nifedipine. The side effect is ankle edema. So the hypertension patient used to take it despite of ankle edema. So the, the, we can call it as ankle edema as side effect because uh, this is mild and the, the patient accepts it. Okay. So, the side effects generally do not hinder the main effect of the drug, whereas uh, adverse effect can hinder the uh, treatment and uh, lead to more complications because of the uh, noxious nature or severe, severe nature. Now, uh, this adverse drug reaction and adverse event, when we say adverse effect, uh, there will be two terms, adverse drug reaction and adverse uh, event. And uh, uh, when there is causal relationship, between the drug and the adverse drug reaction. That means uh, we say um, uh, this uh, harmful effect or noxious effect is due to the drug. We definitely uh, we can establish a causal relationship. Yes, because of this drug only this reaction occurred. So that is adverse drug reaction. And when um, we cannot establish the direct relationship, the causal relationship, then we say adverse event because uh, Sometimes may not be due to the drug, there may be uh, misappropriate use of the drug, there may be uh, uh, medication error, there may be error by the physician. So, if that occurs, then it will come as adverse event. That means the adverse event is the broader term within which we will have the adverse drug reaction. Okay? And... Um, 
the adverse drug reaction, if it is adverse drug reaction is there, then uh, toxic effects are coming under this adverse drug reaction, and s side effects, some some side effects uh, uh, which are severe, which are uh, harmful to the patient, we can call them as uh, adverse drug reactions. But others, uh, we we can simply call them as side effects. That's all. Thank you.